This bullhorn acacia is from the middle parts of Mexico into Central America. It's found sort of in uh, sort of wet areas, found along riparian areas. Um, the reason why it gets its name as a bullhorn acacia, there are multiple bullhorn acacias, but as you could see, these leaf stipules, and that's what they are, at the base of the leaf, they'll form, a lot of times plants have leaf stipules and you won't even notice them or they'll be soft, but these ones are actually formed into thorns and they are hollow. And it just so happens that ants live in there. So the tree provides a nice home for ants. What also the tree does is it provides food in the form of protein in these Belgian bodies. Um, so fats and lipids and proteins are found in there and they're those uh, bright orange sort of little segments on the ends of the leaflets. There's also nectar on the leaf. So basically the ants get a home, protein and carbs, everything possible that the ants need. So what do the ants have to do in return? We're talking about a symbiotic relationship here, right? It's win-win. Well, the ants have to protect the tree from anything that attacks it and tries to eat this relatively nice soft foliage. So I'm gonna tell you a spooky story. Our retired director was in Mexico plant hunting with a friend and he was underneath a tall bullhorn acacia. They could get upwards of 30 feet tall and 30 feet wide even. So his friend came up to him while he was deep entrenched in looking at a plant and his friend startled him. Well, what happens when you get startled is you jump. Well, the vibrations of them jumping under the tree made their way up all the way up into the canopy of the tree. And the thousands of ants that made their home in the tree thought, oh, something's climbing, something's gonna eat our home. And they said, no way. He said within seconds of them jumping, ants started raining down on them. Didn't bother climbing down the trunk. They just started raining down on him. And the first place they go to, the eyes. And ants either bite or sting or both. And that's what they did around his eyes. His friend pulled him away, brushed all the ants off. Not in time though, his eyes were swollen for a few days. Now, Tim, the retired director, is the most positive person ever. And I said, well, you know, not many people get to experience that. Isn't that, wasn't that a great, great experience? He looked at me, he's like, uh-uh, it was absolutely horrible. So this is a nice mutualistic relationship. There's a lot of bullhorn acacia uh, species in Africa as well. Um, we do grow this inside the greenhouse. In fact, one of our specimens literally busted out of the greenhouse and it kept doing that, broke the glass twice before we started a new one. We do have one outside, but it's up against a south building. So it gets the warmth of the winter. So it's borderline here in zone nine for us. Um, relatively fast, fast growing if you give it the moisture. But I hope you enjoy the story of the acacia hinzii, the bullhorn acacia.